Hey, welcome back. My name is Ellie and I have a mini dog collecting problem. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good problem to have, I think. So we're going to have a look. So the previous LEGO Friends girls, the ones from the last 10 years, the first generation of LEGO Friends, Stephanie, Olivia, Andrea, Mia and Emma, who we haven't seen at all this year. And I kind of, I've kind of missed them, but I really kind of haven't because we had 10 wonderful years with these girls. And now they are gone and they have been next generation with eight new friends. So I'm just going over this just in case you have like been hiding on a rock for all of 2023. So we now have got eight main core characters. We've got Autumn Leanne, Ollie, Paisley, Leo, Zach, Aaliyah and Nova. Ah, oh, I remember them all. Okay, so, all right, so, but the old girls aren't completely gone. They're still here in new generation form because Mia is now a mum. We're going to see Stephanie as the mayor of Heart Lake City very soon in the next wave. But the reason we're here is to look at all of the mini dolls that have come with the Lego Friends line in just the first half of 2023. So I've put them all together here on a stand so that I could keep them together because the diversity in here is mind blowing. By the way, this stand that I have here comes from Kmart. Here's a little cutaway just so you can see what it looked like before I filled it up with mini dolls. Um, this is obviously not Lego brand, but it was nice and cheap and it works, well, it works okay. It's got this Perspex top, but I don't use that. So yeah, so I just use this as a nice display and I've got another one ready for the next half of 2023. But this is what we have so far, end of May. <gasps> so exciting before the brand new sets come out and there's so much happening here. So at the front, I've got uh, every outfit for the main characters and at the back, I've got all the secondary characters and the micro dolls. There is so much. So let's have a look at them like bit by bit. So each of the characters, let's have a look at their exclusive outfits. No, their exclusive outfits is probably the wrong word. All of the, yeah, the outfits that they've come in this season for the first wave, so much. So this is Leo. He has had four different outfits, recycled the pants here a few times, but four different outfits, four different tops, three different pairs of pants. So cute. There's printing on the back. He's even got like his color scheme is he's nice and bright and funky. His whole look is funky with big patterns. Got coral as a main color, lime green, bright blue. Yeah, everything nice and bright seems to belong to Leo at the moment, which is so cool. All right, let's pop him over here to the side and we'll have a look at each of them as we go. So Autumn has got four different outfits that we've seen. Now she's come in some of these outfits a couple of times because Autumn's been a pretty main character in this first wave of 2023 but these are the different ones we have same pairs of pants here so three different bottoms four different tops the printing there is no printing on the back of autumn's torso and the reasoning for this is because she is differently able she was born without part of her arm so to actually make that torso piece lego has used the old style torso where you can see the little plugs for the arms inside so yeah there will be a reason for this but it means there's no printing on the back of any of Autumn's torsos at this stage. Autumn's got all of the, you know, nice muted naturally kind of colours because she's a natural kind of our life girl. So this is really fun. Okay, so Autumn, do they look so good when they're all together? Autumn, Autumn, we've looked at Autumn. Four different versions of Leanne. Versions, is that wrong? Four different outfits for Leanne. So Leanne is the scatterbrain one. She's very possibly ascertainable with um, ADHD, who knows? But, you know, labels don't define us anyway. So she has got a bright color palette, which is so fantastic. Different to, like the brightness of it is different to Leo's. We've got some graffiti kind of style artwork because that's what she likes doing and all looks really great. If I were to choose, a, I don't know, I don't know what her color choices really are. Maybe the light pink and the blue are colors that we're gonna be seeing a lot on the end. I'm just hypothesizing here or even the orangey yellow because the light pink is the color of her skateboard too. But seriously, she just is, she's got really bright colors. It's fantastic to see. And I'm just, I'm so excited to see where these characters are gonna develop to. Like it's gonna be such a journey. Okay, all right, Leanne. Uh, next up, Ollie. Ollie, we've got three different versions of Ollie. Uh, he's been in more than three sets. So a couple of these outfits have been recycled. We've actually seen this uh, third outfit with the silvery arms a couple of times. He's got gray pants, <laughs> wardrobe full of gray pants and two different types of dark blue shoes. But he's there's actually light paisley printing on 
his green shirt as well. So he's got Paisley as a pattern, which is really cute. Look how good that crossbody bag looks, that print on the back. So he's flamboyant. He's fabulous. Once again, we haven't seen very much of him yet so far this season. So, so excited to see how it's going to develop. Next up, Paisley. We got four different versions of Paisley, which is really cool because it almost feels as though she disappears into the background. She's such a cute mini doll with such a really distinctive eye shape and completely different look to all of the other faces, the face prints, but often I often forget her, which is terrible. Okay, so Paisley is the musician. Pink looks like she definitely likes pink. I love the fact that we got an alternate face for her this year. Uh, with the uh, with the surprise face so it also gave her an alternate hair an uppy hairdo which is definitely something that you would see like her hair would look like if you put it up that fringe bit and that yeah, it definitely is very believable up hairstyle love her pajama print i was so excited to get pajamas this season finally finally uh yeah so she's got three different torsos and two no three different types of legs as well but we have seen those those long, long jean kind of leg pant pieces on other characters too in those colours as well. So they're not remaining exclusive to her at this stage. I don't know, but the torsos are. The torsos at the moment, the prints there are staying with these characters. Anyway, I'm only thinking about this as I'm looking at them with you. <laughs> thinking through. Now we have so many, so many versions of Aaliyah because she was most definitely the main character for the first wave. So yeah, so her colour scheme is really cool. I mean, look at them all lined up here with all the little same hair pieces. But we've got blue, yellow, and like a purpley pink palette for her, which is really nice. And her style is very preppy, tidy. I love the dress overalls. On oh, they're just all so cute. It's all really, really cute. And the argyle diamondy shaped print on her yellow like vest top. It's really, really cute. All right. So I should have counted, but I don't know how many sets Aaliyah came in all up but it was yeah she she was definitely a dominant character okay nova we have got three different outfits for nova and i think maybe one of these got duplicated but only two different leg pieces or two different leg colors and she definitely likes the new mum jean design which is fantastic and a new face print for her too a completely different face print uh yeah three different torsos just I, i'll talk about all the skin tones that we now have as an option in a moment but oh my gosh it is mind-blowing just to think that how much has just been released this year alone in the friends line for the mini doll it is revolutionary so exciting okay and zach actually zach we only saw um three times in three sets and his outfits are not replicated at all so he's got three different pant pieces and he's got three different top pieces the detail printing on the back of the middle like zip zip up one is so good with the wave on it. I just noticed something. Let me turn these two back around again. They have different face prints. Like it's almost like the same face print, but his mouth is going a different direction. Is that like a misprint? What's this one? Okay, so maybe these ones on the left are the normal ones and the one on the right is like a different like an alternate expression, which I didn't even notice because that was the very first version of Zach that I opened up in Novo's room set. And I assumed that that was just what his face was going to look like. But it looks like that's an alternate expression and the other two are the normal expression. It's very similar. It's like slanted the other way, a little bit rounder than the eyebrows quacked. But yeah, alternate expression for Zach. I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh. All right. So these are also the secondary characters. I'll calm down a bit. So we got so many extra characters here with so many different diversities, including representation of differently able people like Fiona, who has got Down syndrome. And you could just tell that from her face print. Um, I think I think that some of these characters are also diverse in ways that we haven't investigated yet. Jordan, who has got vitiligo, which is the two different pigmentations of her skin. And there are actually six different skin tones represented here. Oh, also Luna, who's in the wheelchair. We've got so much here to unpack. And we have been promised that we're going to have characters. Or we're going to discover that some of these characters, including maybe our core characters, are neurodiverse as well. So, so many, like so much modern representation of what people kids these days everybody kids these days what we're all struggle with the challenges of life everybody's different and we've got such a big palette lineup here in the lego friends theme of all of these different 
everythings. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get them all back on here. And this is already the first half of 2023. What is the next say 10 years going to bring. It's just so exciting. The Lego Friends theme is revolutionary. It is exactly what we need to see in kids toys these days and it's not just a toy. I mean for me Lego is a creativity tool and this is like just the best direction it can be going in. Look at all of these happy faces. Now watch when this happens. Super creepy when that happens in the middle of the night right? <laughs> okay all right I'll stop now because that was not a good way to end but oh my gosh, let's just wait and see what is coming up for the next part of the year and for the years to come. I am excited. I'm always excited, but I'm extra excited now. <laughs> Hold on. All right. See you again soon. Bye.